It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday night special where we talk about everything rock counting related. Oh, I got some uh, interesting stuff to share with you this week. I think I will start by maybe uh, talking about a book that showed up. Um, now, so this book, I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, this is the book that I should have gotten a long time ago. So, um, Stephen Stones, he uh, suggested this. Now, this is a book that I've has been on my radar for a while, but his suggestion pushed me to go out and find a uh, used copy. And, you know, there's two things I just don't like in this world. And that would be uh, stickers that leave behind a residue and uh, paper jackets on hardback books. So... Uh, doing away with that, um, that's going to uh, not not live here anymore. So this book is a book on lapidary from 1955, and it is uh, the book that I wish I had this whole time. If you're watching this, uh, you can pause the video. Down below in the description box, there will be a link to this book, the ISBN. Go check it out at the library. Go buy it. Do whatever you need to do. Uh, this is amazing. Amazing. Okay, um, I uh, bookmarked some things here, and I thought we could kind of look at them. Now, so I'm not by any means like a lapidary expert. Um, I am uh, really good at reading lots and lots of things, and this covers all things. It has, it's just the layout is great, the diagrams are great, the descriptions of stuff. I mean, it covers all all things from cutting rocks, polishing rocks, tumbling, fat. I mean, it's just... I've looked at other modern lapidary books, and it's definitely not something that I would ever have uh, recommended because they're just kind of like, I don't know, like not what I want. But this, you know, it's like, oh, homemade equipment. Like, you want to make your own stuff. You want to just have a good well rounded knowledge like this is so excellent so excellent you know back bezeling like wait did i miss something i missed one i, I saw the machine that the shop here is missing <laughs> i need that i need that uh that machine out here um that would be excellent excellent to have what in it that's uh pretty big <laughs> um but i picked this up for Eight dollars and yeah, eight dollars and ninety-five cents. <coughs> um, yeah, I mean everything. Rock tumbling, like this is just top-notch. There's also a section in here that is on uh, the treatment of gemstones, which is quite interesting and not really a topic that you ever read about, see anything about. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought this was very cool. Uh, highly recommend this. Very much so. Um, go scoop up your copy um, if you're like me, and uh, it's you're just a uh, novice. Um, something like that was, is great. I read it in well, like right away. <laughs> uh, something else showed up, which is very special. So, as many of you know, we have been reading vintage issues of Rock and Gem magazine. For the podcast, the previously Rock Hounding podcast, which it's doing really well. Um, we just uploaded episode number six, and uh, all of the information about that, you can find it up on the website, currently rockhounding.com slash podcast. Well, if we go back a little bit to when we were in Portland for the Mount Hood Rock Club show, we met Gary. And Gary had a whole bunch of magazines for sale. We picked them up so that we could extend out this project because we are really, really enjoying doing it. Well, um, Gary sent a very lovely letter. Um, I won't re read the whole thing to you, um, but he wanted me to check out page 68 in here. Um, and I, one of the things with the podcast is we have not read ever a modern rock and gem magazine. So, but here we have December 2020. And if we just uh, find page 68. So yeah, uh, go watch that video um, at the Mount Hood Rock Club show. 
Um, we got to meet Gary, hang out, uh, pick up his magazines. He gave Sarah one of his uh, wooden boxes that has a polished stone in it. Uh, this is an article featuring him in Rock and Jump magazine. Look at that. Okay, so uh, we have a bunch of thunder eggs here, and they are cut out into be the shape of Oregon, and those are the different counties. And it's mounted on a piece of plexiglass that has a wooden kind of uh, like frame, if you will. And it's backlit with LEDs. Look at all the, so you can be like, you know, uh, blue, red, green. Very cool to see. Um, it was so kind of him to send this. Uh, thank you so much, Gary. I look forward to um, hanging out with uh, Gary maybe at, at the next uh the next show we go to. I think that would be a lot, a lot of fun, you know? Um, we've been certainly doing more, I guess, community stuff, community type stuff, which I love this time of year for activities just like that. The Wild Turkey Mine out here in Northeast Washington opened up this past weekend. <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. I didn't shoot any video there. Um, it was me, uh, Jeremiah, Ragnar Rocks. He moved out here, so you're going to be seeing a lot more of him in videos. And, uh, yeah, we just went out and did some digging and stuff. Uh, my buddy Curtis, uh, my buddy Kent, uh, we all went and uh, did some digging, hang hung out and stuff. It was fun to have a little crew and not feel the pressures of having to make a video and all that. But, you know, a uh, really beautiful serpentine, and it was just it was, it was good. It was good. Uh, the, the, the videos, the videos for this week. Okay. So the thunder eggs, man. Um, <laughs> let's just look at a couple of these. I, I love, I love some thunder eggs. <sighs> Not so much the ones with opal, as you can obviously see very, very cracked up stuff. Um, but not, they're not all bad. I mean, uh, that one's got like almost like a little red spot right there in the middle. Obviously, these aren't like uh, these aren't polished up. I am thinking I'm probably only going to keep. I'm gonna keep this one. I like that one. Okay, um, and I like that one. The other ones, I'm contemplating uh, chopping them up and getting the agate out, and you know maybe uh, make some cabs, polish them up, some stuff like that. You know, because some of them they're not. They're not great, okay? Now, I know some people are going to like look at this and be like, that's so great. Well, in the world of uh, Thunder Eggs, you know, like, you cut as many as you can cut so that you have something, like, kind of showy, you know? Like, something where it's very, very impressive. And if something is less than impressive, well, why keep it around um, when you can cut it up and get the core out, maybe polish up the, the ag agate core on the inside. So I'll probably be doing that with these. Well, I'll keep these two. Also, we went up to Stone Rose. Oh man, Stone Rose in Republic, Washington. Okay, if you didn't go watch the video, definitely go check it out. But basically, the gist of it, Stone Rose is a fee dig site where you can go and dig fossils and you get to keep three, <clears throat> you get to keep your top three, okay? Um, go watch the video, I, we explain it all, go check out their website. These are the ones that we we picked up, or decided to keep, um, <laughs> including this concretion, which is interesting, an iron concretion, all those, those little balls there. Um, but uh, I'm not a, I'm not super knowledgeable in the world of fossils, but I'm trying. You know, um, I am lucky enough to have good guidance by other people. <laughs> uh, and well, you know, if I'm good at one thing, I would say I'm good at learning stuff. Um, I can uh, devour literature with the best of them. Um, but you know, going up to Stone Rose, I think one thing that I didn't probably put enough emphasis on in the video was the f kind of like you're getting a free basically a free crash crash course in 
like the area's geology and fossils, fossil collecting, like all of it. And I learned a bunch, Sarah learned a bunch. Uh, we passed on a bunch of stuff in the video and um, very, very much so worth it, you know? Um, I mean, it's affordable and why, why not, you know, to have that kind of interaction and education with people that make it, make it their life, their, their livelihood is, you know, the, the world of fossils. So I thought that was very, very cool to have that kind of interaction with them. Real quick, we're gonna we're gonna head back over here to the the books. Now, one thing that I don't see enough people discussing in the world of lapidary or rock counting geology is the building out of your library. Now, I look at this as being a super critical point, and it's kind of what separates the. I don't want to. I don't like categorizing things and being like, oh the novice the intermediate but like you know getting these types of books that have like a lifetime of knowledge poured into them it allows you to just like cut shave years years off of uh your own kind of trial and error self-education so building out a library around your interests i think is super super critical uh my 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 whole library is up on the website so you can go check out every single book that I ever have gotten <laughs> on the topic of rocks and minerals that I've fully read, that I think is good, and I'd recommend. They're all up there. And uh, that's where I've gotten, like, I don't know, 90% uh, of the things that I know, probably. I mean, uh, a lot, a high percentage, high percentage. And I would highly recommend you take some time and find some books on things that you find enjoyable and uh, go go pick them up. I mean, there's something for everybody. I mean, you don't have to get super technical. You, there's lots of books that are primarily photos, primarily diagrams. There's uh, I have some rock and mineral books that are artist illustrations, which them, them that in that own kind of and they have their own value. You know, the ability to have an illustration of something, right? Like the ability to illustrate something rather than to see it means that you can place very uh, significant emphasis on certain aspects that you want to highlight and, uh, you know, from uh, the perspective of identification. So there's so much out there, you know. Um, I know it's summer and everybody's like running around and doing the rock hounding thing and all of that. Um, but take some time, find some good books for you. Well, I think we're going to probably leave this one here, everybody. You know, a uh, good solid week all around. We've been uh, a little busy, but um, yeah, that, that. Well, y'all take care. Um, thanks for coming by, hanging out with me in the shop, and I will catch you in the next video.